Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart, me Banto, so we're back here with Arcus, and uh, today I think I want to move our farms actually, because we're not going to have him here eventually, and it uh, do like we're at, we're a pretty good stage of removing it, because most of it is already like fully grown and stuff, it's going to be a lot of work to move it though, because we're going to put him one raw after another raw, so we're just going to fast forward as I do this. So we got it removed, but we gotta think like, do we want to have the farm here? Because if we're gonna move the farm one more time, that's gonna be a lot of work to move it again. But I do think that this could be a nice spot for it, so I'm gonna remove the trapper's ground for now, and uh, we're gonna put it somewhere else. Maybe we will put it, maybe we put it up here for a while. It's pretty easy to remove and move it, so it should be fine. So here we're gonna plant some new some new crops and stuff. I'm gonna connect a road to this gate also. I think I can do it directly actually. So let's go for Dark Mountain Mist color here. Maybe we can like curve the road a little bit. Maybe we get some kind of curve we can like adjust this a little bit. Perhaps like this. So we can have it something like this, it's a little bit of a rounded shape. I think that's going to be pretty nice for us. We pretty much only have like straight roads for the moment, so having some kind of like shape like this is really nice, having this is really nice as well. We could have the farm like in the back here also, there could also be a thing. Maybe we should have the farm in the back here. Not sure if that's a good thing, like I'm not sure entirely where I want to have the farm for the moment. Like, it could work here, but I do have a lot of big plans for this area. Maybe we can do some farming here. But I do think maybe this time I will actually do the farm, you know, the original, the way it's meant to be. So we're gonna need a huge, huge farm to do this. So we're doing it the normal way. This means that um, we'll get less crops in the same amount. Like, if we did this all the time, that would give more, but it is also pretty annoying to put it out, so... So I'm gonna start with a few, we got some uh, corn, we're gonna get some carrots, we got carrot, we got corn, double corn there. We need some cactuses, that's for sure. Guess we need some watermelons. Oh, I have a lot of different crops. We could go for a farm on the other side as well, I'm not sure if we want that. Perhaps we could have it. We can actually have the farm split up in different places. The good thing about splitting it up as the game is for the moment is that the, your people patrol around the farm. So if I would put one here, they would patrol this and then they would go here to patrol this. Which uh, could be fairly good. So I actually think we will put some uh, farm in the back here for now. They have a little bit split up, a little bit a different way of doing it. Gonna grow some more saplings. Definitely gonna need more of those. I think if we go, go something like this, that should be fine. We do have three farms, it looks like. Or maybe... Oh, and our cook is actually helping out, that's why. So we're gonna see if we like it like this, guys. So what do you think about it and so on. We might do the single roll later on. I just feel like I wanted to do something a little bit quicker this time. But it is definitely not as good as doing it like we have here. And we're actually gonna remove this also so we don't keep that. Oh, you hear goblin war horns? No, 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 no. They can't come already. Like, we haven't had any time at all to do the wind chimes. Oh, go skull bunker. At last, we come to the place the great Chinese. Go forth, my minions. Oh, if we maybe avoid clicking this, we could prolong their arrival because we don't have any wind chimes. I think the carpenter is very far to get up the level. We do have a lot of wood now. So. Oh, I haven't put out the carpenter's workbench yet. So I'm gonna try to await him for a while, get out the copper's workbench, and we're gonna craft a bunch of stuff, really. Maybe some swords. That should be good. We're gonna need them later anyway, so... A couple of these. Maybe a few shares. 
So we really need to get up to Carpenter. That's the troublesome with the Riot Shield Rhythm because if you're gonna get to get the Wind Chime up, you need to have a Carpenter. And the Carpenter has to be level 5, which is pretty insane because how long it takes for Riot Shield Rhythm to get the Carpenter. At least it took a long while for me to get it. It might have been faster for you, but it uh, definitely is a lot harder compared to like um, with Ascendancy. I'm gonna get an Iron Shield. Potentially one Footman can wield that. Should be good. And let's see, I'm gonna queue up one more. We do have one Iron Mail, I'm gonna queue up another. Maybe one more Iron Helmet. And I also wanna go to that Weaver. So we're pretty much preparing a lot for battle for the moment. We need to get some Spool of Fred. So we need to go out to the Wilderness to gather that. I did hear some zombies or something. Okay, we got some enemies around here. I think we're gonna go and actually fight them. Just gonna see so we don't have any Ogo coming in somewhere. Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna meet up somewhere, like here maybe. Doesn't seem like we have everyone here yet. We need to get that archer soon. I feel like we need that. It's really good to have archers. Footmans are really good against the Ogo though, because he has a lot of troops. And the footmen do have their cleave ability, which means that you will be striking so many enemies at the same time, which is so good. It's really, really useful against him. Carpenter level 1, awesome. He has 4 more levels. Carpenter do level up very fast though, so it could go super fast. And the thing is that, like, you know, we can fight them. But the um, question is, will we beat them? I'm very unsure if we would do that, actually. We have uh, one knight, three footman, two cleric. It could work, it could work. It's gonna be... It's gonna be hard, though. It's gonna be hard. So I do think they should potentially, like, Brian Shidder and something, like, lower the crafting level for the carpenter, perhaps, with this, because it's pretty crazy that you need to go to level 5 to get it. Just trying to find it for the moment. Here it is. Level 5, that's pretty crazy. I'm gonna see if we can queue something more up. Some beds, and uh, maybe these crates. That's gonna be nice for some additional decoration and storage. We need to get, like, a recurve bow also, but we need to get, the, like, the main... The normal bow also, which we can get as long as we get to level 4 with the carpenter, which is maybe far away still. I'm gonna check the carpenter. You see, we have a lot of XP to go up still. We could try to fight them. We could go for like making another soldier perhaps. Maybe we should do that. We don't really have... Okay, maybe Arabella could be another soldier. Let's promote her. I think a third cleric would be better than a fourth footman, actually, though. But uh, better this than nothing, I guess. So I wanted to gather some uh, fibers out in the wild. Here we have some silkweed. So if we're gonna gather that, we're gonna make sure that we don't go out and like, try to fight Ogre for the moment. So the way I'm doing this is I'm trying to ignore this uh, Warhorn from the Goblin. Before and in the past at least you could ignore him for a long time or pretty much forever. Not sure how it works nowadays. If you make me 7 watermelon basket I'll back in 4 days I might be able to get you pumpkin seeds. Hmm, let's try to do that. 7 watermelon basket. Do we already perhaps have that? Could be that we already have it. Only have three, okay. So I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to like grow up new watermelons until they arrive, but uh, I'm gonna put out a few. It says that they take quite a while to grow, so. But it would be nice to get some pumpkins. Like the more like different crops we have, the better it should be. Also gonna check out with uh, if we can beat this goal soon. The town goal. We wanna make the one. I think. Yeah, let's see here. We got this one. Do you think we want to make the one for Trader? Which we should be kind of close to get. Like, we got a carpet now, which means we can get the fine one. And we need to make one of these with the Weaver and then one of those with the Potter. So let's go and perhaps uh, we can queue up to make uh, a few of these things. So this one we need. And it seems like we already have everything for it, so that's good. The Weaver, we need to queue up some things. I do think I already have it queued, perhaps, maybe not. So we're gonna make this one. We're gonna make it type 5. These are really good if you wanna sell, trade and sell stuff also. Really, really good. Take 4 fibers, so that's really good. 
These we also want to make eventually. Once we get some pollos, some chickens. We're gonna make some quivers. They're really nice. This one slows people. This one burns people. So they are really, really good to have. Because we got that and the fine crates. We're just gonna get lucky pretty much with that. So we get fine crates. We have to keep crafting them pretty much until we, until we get some fine ones. But Nate is at least uh, level 2. Going, f going, 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 going up a bit. And the thing, since we do have a really, really good mind, which means they will actually have a higher chance of creating the fine ones, which should make it easier for us to beat this goal, perhaps. So we have two normal large crates for the moment. But we want to get the fine one. I wonder if we get a steel short sword for a knight. Like, if we can get less a slightly little bit better of stuff, it's gonna be nice. So let's check out Derpy Kitty what she got for equipment. A bronze short sword, so we should be able to get that uh, other sword for her. This one. So it's two more in damage. Maybe not a super amazing amount, but it's still better than nothing. Look at that, 100 copper, that's pretty crazy. And let's check out other people what we got for them. Looks like we got a pretty good armor for people. So, I don't know, maybe we, let's uh, let's do a save. And we're gonna save and then we're gonna... I think we're gonna fight Ogo. So if we lose this battle, we are, we're gonna load the game. I don't wanna lose this town pretty much because of a losing battle, but... I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to defeat them. So I'm just going to rally my people, I'm not going to bring uh, my soldiers together here. And put them to the guard even. And uh, let's go and fight Ogo. For Ogo, for shinies, take all the things. This is going to be real hard, so let's see, where did they spawn? Where are they? Oh, here they are. See how big troop they got? These are the ones that I think we could take down with the, the footmans, because the cleave attack is so amazing. Another goblin horde? What? Human town dare to display goblin honor token? Retribution? What? Is it... Are they coming more because I did that? Or what? Okay, let's bring all my people here. Wait, 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 wait. There's coming... They're coming from this side also. Is that... Chieftain? This could get dangerous. Are we getting attacked from both sides at the same time? Why? Why do it have to happen to us? So let's see if we can take out some wolves before everyone else arrives. You gotta be careful for the back though. So let's go for the small ones. Goblin. Oh, I didn't know they reacted with those honor tokens really. I think, by the way, someone said that if we defeat um, the Chieftain, we will actually defeat the army, but it's, he's pretty hard to find in this mess. So where is he? I think that's him. That is him. Let's see if we can get him. Helicard level 5 cleric, awesome. How's it going in town? We might have to retreat back, I'm not sure. Is anyone low? Doesn't look like it. Footman level 3, awesome. It's going pretty good for us. Come on, just a little bit more. Ogus called bankers fall to the ground, awesome. I think my people are taking care of the wolves, it's going really, really good. Didn't expect to go like this. What Ogus called bank defeated? What soothsayers say? What mountains say? What about Khan? What about the next cycle? The mountain fight on! Well, I think we pretty much wrecked them as it looks. I'm kind of surprised, really. Here's another group coming in. This is from... Um, I think it was because of the tokens we put out. We pissed them off or something. Come on, my soldiers, come on. Let's take them out. I'm really surprised how good this went. I'm really, really, really surprised about that. I guess we didn't even need to have an archer. And we didn't even need a wind chime. Wow, we did good, we did good, we did good. And this means we get the Bonkerosa from Ogre the Skull Bank, which is a really, really awesome extra weapon. And we got Skull Bank's banner also. We're gonna put it out later. But I didn't know that about um, 
these uh, things. I should have it here somewhere, I think. Uh, this one. I didn't know that actually did something. Some goblin might want this back. So perhaps if we would have put in out the crazy amount of them, maybe perhaps there would have become loads of enemies. But I'm a bit surprised. Like, we defeated them, guys. I think we did good. What do you guys think? I think we did really good. I was actually expecting something really, really bad to happen. That's why I did that save, so I guess we didn't even need it. The best when you're playing is definitely not to use saves. I think that's the best, like, playing RimWorld. I really don't want to use save if I don't really have to. I, like, never do it, really. And after this hotel is done, by the way, we're gonna build the storage house, I think. And after the storage house, I do think perhaps we might build this one. I definitely want to get the storage house up because that will give us a lot of usable space for storing our stuff. And I think we can all pretty much already start with it. I think we should be fine with that. So this is going to be a lot of crafting as well. We might need to get more clay and stone. Probably do need it. This should be fairly, fairly easy. Just a lot of digging. I'm gonna go down here. And uh, by the way, the next live stream is gonna be soon, so I'm gonna have it um, tomorrow at the, the same time as before, 7 p.m. So 7 p.m. set time. I will post um, that in the video here, so you can see and read it. And I will also post on my Twitter, which is uh, B4MTO. Twit, or Banto Twit, I think it is, and we also got a Facebook page for anyone who doesn't know it. All those links are on my channel, so you can find them. I haven't really spoken that I have them before, but if you want to, like, know more what's going on, sometimes when there's new live streams or special things, or you wonder why I'm away for some reason, Twitter and Facebook is a really good place to go to for. Definitely Twitter, that's where I update the most, I would say. Gather some more water. I see this like little water thing. They're always so thirsty, my people. So I want to get out of the way because it's not good to have it there. And I might put out two more wells. I know this looks horrible. Maybe we can put them somewhere else. It could make sense, you know, to have some wells spread out of the town. Not only, you know, for drinking and stuff like that, but for like um, when something starts to burn or something like that, you have to clear out a fire or something. So I'm actually gonna have, I'm gonna put two wells here, behind our uh, little hotel. Should be very, very soon done. And I have started working here, so I'm really happy about that. Doing a good, good job for us. Karma Frogstrut is digging, pretty much alone for the moment. But I guess everyone else is busy with other stuff. Deal update. Oh, we beat it. Awesome, another one joins. Roran Creed joins. Let's check him out. Good bot, please. Okay, so I have a really good mind and a good spirit, so... This is a pretty good person as well, a good crafter. Really good one. So let's see if we actually got in any of these uh, fine large crates. We do not have it yet, so I'm gonna queue up to make my, maybe a few more just so we can hopefully get them. So I'm gonna queue up maybe five more. And we need to we need to have this also if we're gonna make the bows. But we also need to get up a level, of course. But this is such a big change. Now when we got a carpenter, we pretty much have the game unlocked. We can pretty much do everything as it is now. As long as we have like the resources for it. Trader uh, returns. Trader back in three days. Okay, so we have pretty long to grow this um Watermelons, but it grows slow, so a trade approach to town. 12 clay lamps for free iron mail. That's that's a pretty good trade actually. I'm gonna try to make it. Not sure if we're gonna be able to make it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try at least. Should be this one. I'm just gonna make a few extra. And maybe we can move down to the top so we we will be able to like succeed that mission. Now you just have a free cop and that's great. Seems like we need another new ladder down here. So three more days. Three more days. The troublesome thing though is that the cook doesn't care like what stuff it takes. So there's a big risk that it will take my watermelon to turn it into um, the vegetable stew tangine. I do think we have to maintain about 75 though. So they shouldn't really take too much of it. Yeah. So we're not gonna increase that. I think we might need like another 
farmer after I did this thing. We only had two farmers. So Beavis could be a really good archer, like one of you guys pointed out before, because he have a really good body but a low spirit, which means that uh, he will flee in battle, but he will be dealing loads of damage. He has good health, so he's a pretty good, pretty good archer. So we might keep him for that. Uh, Dunihar, maybe. Let's do Dunihar to a third farmer. We might need four farmers really because we have really big fields. So maybe we should go for four farmers just directly on the, we can just remove them later if we don't want them. I'm gonna go for Uncle Stir. Should be good. Gotta remove this ladder. Got some invaders. Oh we got cobalt going in. So today we're not building so much guys. Uh, this is a little bit of less building episode, but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. Going pretty good. I think we had a really awesome fight with Ogo before. I think that's pretty much one of the best ones I ever had, and I'm a bit surprised since this is Rai Children. Because it definitely is a lot harder in my opinion. Okay, so we got everyone gathered. And by the way, Alpha 20 is gonna be really awesome. The info we had for it so far is that. There's gonna be more like um, things with the game, like your harflings need to have their personal space. So if they live in a really cramped environment and they are they're working all the time, they will they're like the happiness will drop and stuff like that. So the game is gonna become a lot more interesting soon with Alpha 20 and so on in the future, which I'm really really happy about. I really like the Rim World that they have personalities and they're affected by their environment and everything. It's so so good. But I think we're gonna end it for today, guys, uh, with uh, this uh, video. So don't forget to check out my live stream. Link to that is in the description. And uh, here's a text for when we're gonna go live tomorrow and Wednesday. So guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you had a good, good time. And in the next video, we're gonna start building another building in Arcus. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you had a good, good time. And hope to see you next time. Take care.